Hi guys, so today I am doing a first impression on the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and Concealer. I have the shade Soft Ivory in the foundation and Light Ivory in the concealer. And I'm hoping that the concealer is not darker than the foundation because it's definitely looking that way right now. But hopefully we can make it work. And please excuse how crazy I look right now. I am also doing a video on this Hard Candy Matte Pro Matte Palette. So I already went in and did my eyes. So um, I definitely look pretty sickly right now. This is a spatula type. And I've already primed my face with the Sonia Kashuk Mattifying Primer, which I did do a review on, and it's one of my new favorites right now. Okay. So, I have seen in other reviews that people are saying that this is, you know, almost full coverage. But a lot of the people that are on YouTube do not seem to have a lot to cover. Well, at least who I usually watch. So, so I really wanted to test this out and see if it actually will cover acne and redness and scarring because I do have a lot of that on my face. It feels like it's setting pretty quickly. Right now, I would say that this is a about a medium coverage foundation. I still have quite a bit of my acne and scarring showing on the side of my face. I'm going to just go in with um, a little bit more on the spots that I need some more coverage and see how buildable that, that is. It does look like it's building pretty well. So after that second layer, it definitely built up to be a, a pretty high medium coverage. I wouldn't quite say that it's full coverage, but it is nearly there. I don't want to put any more of it on just because I don't want it to get cakey or anything. Right now it looks okay, but at this point in time I'm not sure how it would be on dry skin. I do have combination skin so I get pretty oily in my T-zone and I do at times struggle with dry patches as well. I'm going to go in with the concealer now. Wands like this I'm just not a fan of anymore. Like ever since I started using the Tarte Shape Tape with that huge wand, I just can't stand these little tiny concealer wands. So it looks like this shade of concealer will probably be okay. I was thinking it might be a little darker than the foundation, but it's looking okay right now. I don't know if this was the lightest shade or not, but if it is, then they definitely need to get some lighter shades. I'm just going to blend this out with my Up and Up Complexion brush. I got this at Target. It was about $6. So this concealer is blending out really nicely. The coverage is really nice. I mean, you can even tell on camera that that covered up a lot of my darkness. So I will say that this foundation is not settling in my lines on my forehead nearly as bad as any of my other foundations do. That is one thing that I typically have to worry about. My foundation typically is settling pretty badly into my lines and I have to go in and kind of bake that area with powder. But right now it looks so nice. It is not settling in that area at all. So I am super impressed with that. I am really, really liking this concealer. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I did not have high hopes for this concealer. I think it's just because I'm so in love with my Tarte Shape Tape that I just feel like there's definitely nothing that can compare. But right now, this concealer looks really nice. I'm going to go in and do the rest of my makeup. I will check back in when I'm done with that. Okay, guys. I am seriously so impressed. Like, so blown away right now. I did not expect to love this foundation and concealer as much as I do right now. I mean, my skin looks completely airbrushed. I'm just blown away. I'm so impressed. This foundation is like $5 and the concealer is like $4. Right now, I just think it looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, my favorite thing is that it seriously is not emphasizing my deep wrinkles in my forehead. I mean, this is just crazy to me. I have never in my life had a foundation not settle in my wrinkles on my forehead, and this doesn't at all. Like, I'm typically rushing to set my forehead so that my foundation does not settle in there, and this one did not at all. I will say it does set fast. It dries to about a matte finish. 
I did mention earlier that I wasn't sure how it would be on dry skin and I still am not positive because of how matte it is. I think if you have pretty bad dry patches then this may not be the foundation for you. Now I can't really speak for oily skin quite yet because I did just apply this like 20 minutes ago, but right now I think it looks gorgeous. I am so obsessed right now. I really hope this holds up. Um, I do want to quickly go over what I have on the rest of my face, just in case you're wondering. Um, I did bake under my eyes with my Cody Airspun powder. I set the rest of my face with my e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Finishing Powder in Light Medium. This is amazing. It seriously is gorgeous on the skin. It does not make you look powdery. If you have dry skin, you will love that. Then I use my CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer, and that is absolutely beautiful. It, this was one that I hauled um, a couple videos ago, and I have been using it nonstop. I am obsessed with it. And then for my blush, I use the L'Oreal Visible Lift Berry Lift Blush. Once again, I hauled this a couple videos ago too, and I am obsessed with it. If you are a beginner with blush, then this may be a great blush for you because it is not too overly pigmented. For my highlight, I first went in with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Powder Glow Illuminator in Rose, and this is beautiful. I use the two brightest shades here in the middle, and I love them. And then over that, I went in with my Laura Geller Gilded Honey. To set my face, I went in with the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. This is in the scent Jasmine. It's my first time using it. Um, I'm not super crazy about the scent when you first spray it. It does smell decent, but it kind of has like a weird after smell if that's a thing. But I got five different scents of this when they were having their sale on Super Bowl Sunday. It was 51% off. So I got all five of these for I think like $42. We'll be doing like a mini review probably on those setting sprays. And then for my lips, I went in with the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Hypno. I think right now that is going to be all. I will check in later on and let you know how things are going. Okay guys, so it is 9.30. I have filmed this intro like 500 times. I don't know why I cannot get it right, but it's 9.30. It's been six hours since I applied my foundation and concealer. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous still. You know, I do look a little oily, but that's nothing out of the ordinary. As of now, I would say I don't know that it would be great on dry skin. I do have a bit of dryness here, just a little bit on some acne that I have on my cheek, and it was clinging just a little bit to them um, before, you know, the foundation and everything had kind of warmed up to my skin. If you have normal skin, I definitely recommend it. And if you have oily skin like me, you know, I have combination skin, then it definitely could work for you as well. I mean, you may have to touch up throughout the day, but I think it's worth it for the beautiful finish that you get. You know, it looks beautiful on camera. It looks beautiful in pictures. It looks beautiful in person. From the minute you put it on, I like every time I look in the mirror, I think it looks gorgeous. I definitely looked more matte earlier. You know, it blended out really well. My concealer blends like a dream. The concealer is absolutely amazing. I think I will do one more check-in in two hours that it'll be about 11:30, but I really want to try to hit the eight hour mark because that is a typical day's wear. Yeah, I'll check back in in a little bit and let you guys know how it is holding up. But right now I am loving it and I'm super excited because this is probably the most affordable foundation that I have ever used aside from my e.l.f. acne fighting foundation. So, okay guys, so this is our last check-in. It is 11:30. I definitely have gotten a little more oily. As you can see, if I was going to be going anywhere, I would probably blot or, um, touch up. Up, but obviously I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to wash my face off. I absolutely love this foundation. It is beautiful. Like I said 500 times. I would recommend it to you if you have pale skin, if you have oily skin, normal skin, if you're going to be photographed or on camera for any reason, if you're on a budget. Um, it's just amazing. I did use the second to the last most pale shade and it was slightly too light on me and I am pretty fair. So like I said, I do think that if you are a pale princess that you can find a shade for yourself. So definitely, definitely try it out. Oh, and you guys, this foundation is still not settling into my forehead lines at all. That is unheard of. So you have to run out right now and go find this foundation. I will link everything down below for you guys. Um, let me know if you've tried this and you liked it or you didn't. And if there's anything else that you want to see me review, I would love to hear from you guys. And I really hope to see you in my next video. And yeah, I will talk to you soon. There are lots of exciting videos to come. So subscribe and stay tuned for those.